I appreciate that the uh, dungeons are a lot more straightforward. They don't take nearly as long. And that a lot of a big part of that is because combat goes much faster in this game than it does in DP1. Oh, we got more. Gotta work our way back, I guess. Which is cool. I like that. That's kind of a almost like a Greek mythology vibe to it of like returning from your big adventure is also part of the story. Oh, that guy got a headshot and he still survived, so they're already getting tougher. Good to know. Tutorial time, isn't it? Gotcha. Yeah, I feel like this is very this is very straightforward and small. I'm surprised. I'm okay with it because I think the even though this is vastly improved combat wise, I don't like I don't need to be spending a ton of time here. So I'm okay with it being the dungeons kind of being sped up, but it's surprising to me. Okay, that guy's going down one. Down you go! Dang it, I keep forgetting that that's what that button does. Oh yeah, I haven't even been using the uh, gimmicks of the Psycho Gun at all, this dungeon. I haven't really had much need to yet, but I imagine as the game gets more difficult, I'll rely on that a little bit more. Hey man. I'm picking up bullets left and right, not too worried. Oh, jump, the jump. You got me there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, I guess I can't pull it anymore. Can I... Okay, that's enough to get past. Alright. Too easy. I'm also racking up the money here, I feel like, which is nice.
appreciate that they're more colorful here. Like when they're in the red world, they're colorful. And then when they are out of the red world, they are red. I think that's pretty cool. here first. Or not. Uh, th why is that thing here? Maybe it's boss fight time. Let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna pee too. What? Oh, this looks like a boss fight for sure. Let's scour the edges of the arena first. Did. I didn't have to get too close to activate this. Whatever it is. What is that? Is that Gygus from Mother? I'm not one for violence, but I'm not just going to stand here and die. Unless it's effing squirrels. Should we read off a right? It's the red one's turn. So, head in the Got a confession. I did just as I was told. I killed her so pure and beautiful. I killed my own baby. Please. That's actually hurting her eyes. You son of a bitch! What did you do to my daughter? I think it's interesting that she has been- oh man! Oh. 
That makes it easier, doesn't it? Ow. Excuse me. Get some room here. Maggie's interesting. She has been just she's been explicitly described as childlike and being like an adult child. And she is taking the form of a very like fetus-like creature. That being said, this is a pretty easy boss fight if this is all it is. Yeah, okay. Pretty straightforward there. Oh wait, maybe it's not done. Oh, she's got the tree on her forehead. The upside down peace symbol. That's rad. Stop it, that hurts my eyes. So far, the red gave me the honor of lighting the flame. I'm not gonna let you stop me You have the right to remain silent. That's a pretty. I like that she has like three hands on Lena, one arm. Is this your true form? Gosh, Hollywood would have been all over you. <laughs> Although you probably would have been especially in the odds. The kind that heroes always kill. We're going to make a new world, and no one's going to. All right, so we got an actual boss now. <laughs> oh, she teleports. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Try to take her in alive, all right, Zach. Kill Zach. Ow. Yeah! Disaster aversion bonus. Ah, dang it, I've now, like, just in my own brain, now set the expectation that I will punch every boss to death.
Cool. We got the murderer, Zach. Everything's good. Kind of wish the Zelda after boss music would come on, play in Twilight Princess. Do, 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 do. That was a pretty good. That, that, there was a little bit more happening there. Um, I feel like she's probably a little bit more health because, like, I really only need to avoid each attack like once or twice, and then I managed to whittle her down enough that I was good. But I could tell there were there was more than just one attack, which for the first like half I was really worried about. Oh, she's here. Probably dead because we shot her and then punched her. In that order. Clarkson, you are now under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Lise Clarkson and the illegal disposal of her corpse. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. That's enough, Zach. She can't hear us anymore. Actually, I was about to say, no, you still need to read the full rights. But it is true, if she does not understand the rights, it doesn't count. So he has a point. It's not really worth it saying anymore if she's not like registering at all. Zach, pardon my language, but this case can go fuck itself. <laughs> okay, one, that's an incredible line. Two, York, you're not officially on the case. You volunteered to look into this yourself. You're not even like officially working on duty. You could just call this one in if you want to. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, now feels like it would be a time for an Aaliyah level, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, not yet, no. I really hope that's not just like bookends. I hope we get a full story out of that. I didn't expect you to catch the criminal this soon, though. You never failed to impress me. Come on, CLG. Let's head back to the office. Mr. York and I both got a lot of cleanup work to take care of. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna tell the Clarksters. That's my biggest problem. Melvin, this investigation has only just begun. What? But we got the kill. This case is much more complicated than it seems. You mean you're going to keep searching the town? Of course. At the moment, I'm after a tall, stylish woman. Does that ring any bells? Stylish? You lost me. What's they got to do with anything? Zach and I saw her with our own eyes. We need to find her, I'm positive. You're probably talking about Professor R. I thought Professor R was anonymous. How do you know who Professor R Professor is? Professor R? From the jazz book? Wait, no, right, no. But she did say Professor R knows about the drugs, I think. Yeah. I mean, she's the only person in town you could call stylish. She's tall, too. But... What is it, Melvin? Uh... Well, out with it. Don't let your ten-year-old daughter upstage you here, <laughs> You're looking for a stylish woman, right? Yes, we've established that. Then I think you're barking up the wrong tree with Professor R. She isn't exactly a normal woman, if you catch my tree. Melvin? Yeah, be careful here. We need to figure out a little bit more about Professor R before I jump to conclusions about what you're trying to say. But I went into a long tangent about what I think about Thomas and how sweary approaches certain things in regards to gender expression. Melvin, be careful. I hear you loud and clear. Melvin, you're careless in every sense of the word, but I believe you operate on the side of good in most cases. With that in mind, I'm disappointed to see that you some prejudice with you. Call him out, York! Let's go! Uh, but I... Uh, 
Is she the type to forbid customers from entering her jazz bar due to the color of their skin? No, she ain't like that. Well then, case closed. Well then, I think we should call it a day. I, I, I don't, I, knowing Sweary, I want to meet Professor R before we actually, like, before I confirm what I think they're trying to say. I'm interpreting this to mean Professor R is transgender. I'm excited that that representation is here. I'm excited they're using correct pronouns. I'm excited that York, the protagonist, is calling out Melvin for being like, hey, shut the F up. Um, I, maybe I'm misinterpreting. I am excited to see if that's the case. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I hope Professor R doesn't turn out to be like just flat out super evil. I hope that there is... Um, Addy. Like, Thank you very I hope much. that she's it's written as a full fleshed out character. Um, but I, I, I am interested to see where that goes. Also, it is sweary. As we've said, Thomas, not a very complicated character from Deadly Premonition 1. Um, not approached in perhaps the best possible way. I, I'm also a little bit nervous about Swery, how a Swery might write a character like that. I could just be completely misinterpreting what's happening. I just helped him um, But the fact that they're kind of dancing around the oh, subject no, 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 makes me think that's it. probably what this is. You needn't worry about what to tell the Clarksons. I'm sure they already know that Dilly has been arrested. I don't know. I don't know. This is Makari. Huh. Okay. All right. Okay, return to York's room, review the case. That's the end of an episode, chapter, slash, whatever. So I imagine that's, if we're going to cut back to Leah, that's where it'll happen. I wonder if these cells are just going to fill up as the game goes on. I wouldn't be surprised. God, a trans-positive FBI agent main protagonist. It's weird, this game isn't like Twin Peaks at all. I would like some food, actually. That only has drinks. Hey there, Mr. York. <laughs> Looking sharp as usual. Who would it be? Hey, tell me where the killer bees are and I'll take care of them. You didn't tell me that. that that's on you. probably wrapping up for the day here, but let's head back to uh, the hotel. We'll see where it goes. If we get another Zach scene, we'll play through that, and then that's probably what we'll call it. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Hi, Gene. The more you work, the dirtier your suit will get. If it gets too dirty, people will start to resent the fact that you visit their establishments. Ah. And hopefully we can refresh some of this dialogue because he's been saying the same thing for like two hours now. And Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear him. You know what would well actually no, because it would still transport you outside probably. I was gonna say it would change the game if you could fast travel from within buildings, but like you probably wouldn't transport to literally inside of the building, so it wouldn't um, stop the loading screens from being a problem. Unfortunately. Let's get, just so we're not starving to death when we wake up, let's go ahead and get some food from the kitchen. We got so many headshots, I think we can afford whatever we want today. 
Now that's what I'm talking. You can't get oh, fired. Sorry. Like this in any of those diamonds out there. So make sure you enjoy. Yeah, those dungeons seem to be where you can rack up the money and stuff to sell too. Cause picked up a lot of stuff there. Yeah, feeling great. Thanks, Mister. Next time you get a hankering for old time pure food, just stop on by. All right, and I also want to check out the link board if it lets me. I don't know if the cutscene will start as soon as I get back in the room or what. Oh, it is the progress. Cool. Zach, let's go over our progress. We've got a complicated case on our hands this time, especially as far as the Clarkson's relationships go. But in a way, it's also a simple one. Understanding them on a deeper level is the most efficient way to uncover the truth behind all this. That's the one thing I'm sure of. Evidence organization start. Zach, let's start with the people who were closest to the victim. Lise Clarkson, the victim, is the granddaughter of the current head of the Clarkson family. Her mother is Galena, an ex-actress, and Lise clearly inherited her beauty. Except for her eyes, that is. Lise's eye color matches that of her father's. Now, you remember who Lise Clarkson's father is? Uh, 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 not Melvin and not Danny as the brother, so it's PJ. Wrong side. What? Oh, Lisa's. Dang it, dang it. I thought it was Galena. Sorry. That's Lisa's grandfather, not her fucker one. I know, I know. It's Danny. Sorry. That's right. Lisa's father is Danny Clarkson. His real name is Daniel E. Clarkson. He's from Florida and used to be the CEO of a talent agency. Also, I didn't even really put it together. Interesting that he took on the last name. Danny struck the heart of Galena and successfully became a member of the... So Steve clearly Clarkson it does mean family. it's very important to him that he's part of his family. Despite being the son-in-law, he acts like he was born a Clarkson, but he's still just the son-in-law. Next comes what happened to Lise. According to Alexis, Lise said that the man was as tall as an oak tree I believe that's the same 10-foot-tall giant who made the fingerprints we found in the cold storage warehouse. Now, what did this man do to Lise prior to her murder? Followed her around. Yeah. Stole her chocolate sundae. No, that was me, Zach. Yes, that's it, Zach. The man as tall as an oak tree followed Lise around and watched her. Despite his towering stature, he must have been rather shy. Or perhaps he was merely biding his time and planned to kidnap her from the very start. If that's the case, there should have been some evidence left at the scene of the crime. Hmm. Zach, we're still missing some puzzle pieces. Speaking of I do actually crime, think Avery is the giant, but I don't think he was involved in the murder itself. I did some profiling in the plantation's control room. The truth it revealed to us was nauseating and horrific. I bet the I bet the drugs help you grow or something. But you need to so touch it be ten feet. If you wish to proceed. Isn't that right, Zach? Who actually murdered Miss Clarkson? Mrs. Carpenter. Yes, that's right. Lisa's own mother. Okay, she's not missing anymore. You can take that part off of the photograph. While she was dreaming about some bizarre new world. This is by far the vilest and ugliest crime you've ever seen. The fact that Galuna set up her daughter's body at an altar makes this case even more complicated. Remember, not a single sacrificial human murder has ever been proven and documented in all of American history. Are you sure about that? That scene... Mm, is that... I guess it depends how you determine sacrificial, but are you sure about that? The real world is far more complex than what we see in films and videos. Shut up, Swery. And sacrificing a human life for something else is no easy task. In conclusion, Zach, 
Through our investigation, we found one character who sticks out more than anyone else. You know exactly what I'm thinking about, don't you? No. We'll need to have a word with her. In the oh, movie. Professor R, yeah. Who's the stylish woman we saw during the profile? Oh! <laughs> That's great. Professor R. We haven't met her yet, but she's deeply intertwined with this case. Let's wait for the skeletal gentleman to guide us to her with an oracle. Well, Zach, what do you think? Is it the Deep South something? The people here are just as warm as the weather, and the food is to die for. It'd be nice to move down here after I retire. Huh, still too early to talk about that? You may be right. After all, this case has only just begun. And I've also been thinking about Boston. 